How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Last time, we arrived here at the Dusk Forest to find Celebi in order to travel back in time, thanks to the help of Grovile here. If we don't hurry, the Sableye will catch up to us. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. So yes, when you're all ready, when you've saved, when you put stuff in storage, you want to head up here, and yes, we are all ready. Um, this dungeon here is actually not very long. You seem to be finally prepared. There's also something pretty cool about this dungeon. Yes, we will return to the past. And I'll show you it, of course, when we get started. But wait, Nigel has his doubts yet again. I'm not surprised, are you? You shouldn't be. Three of us do return to our world. Groval, will you steal the time gears like you did before? Well, yes, I will. Otherwise, the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. But I... Groval, I'm not convinced yet. I don't completely trust you yet. Oh my gosh. We do return, Gervile. I'll investigate if you really were stealing this time, Gears. You will investigate, Nigel. Good old Nigel. Good thing he's on the case. Ugh. Do as you will, but keep this in mind. What's important now is getting ourselves safely back to your world. So for the time being, focus on getting back home. Let's go. Yes, indeed, we will go with Grovile and wait. We are having that strange sensation again. Hmm, what's the matter, Gobo? I just know it. I felt something like this before. It was... That's it! It was when... It was back then, before Fogbound Lake. We had an unresolved sensation. Don't know why I'm feeling this way. That sounds really, really messed up. An unresolved sensation. I know this place. Eugh. I thought so. This is similar to the sensation I had back then. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry! Yes, we have no time to worry about what Gobo's feeling right now, or what what's being triggered in his brain, but it... Ooh. It looks like we've been spotted. The Sableye have caught up to us. Wow, we must have really taken our time fighting Spiritoon. But welcome to Dusk Forest, where Grovile is a member of your team. Yeah. He's a whopping level 46 with excellent... Hello, with excellent moves. And please do not sigh wave me to death, Miss Magius. Oh, I love Miss Magius, though. Uh... Yes, he is a whopping level 46. He has access to moves like Leaf Blade. He's, he's just got fantastic moves. Uh, he's a grass type as well, being the evolved form of Trico, who our partner is. Um, not quite sure if there's any sort of relation there. Miss Magius is hanging out on the wall. Nobody fully understands. Get out of the wall! Oh my god, Miss Magius! Miss Magius, are you. What? Get out of the. Get out, get out of the wall! What? There... Nigel's about to like freaking die because like she won't get out of the wall. <sighs> All right. Have your orange berry if you would. <laughs> Use spite. There we go. Thank you, Miss Magius. Likes to hang out on the wall. I like how. Get out of the wall! Ugh. Oh, poor Nigel lost all PP in uh, in his absorb move there. Good God, that was insane. Stupidness, Magius. And here we have a Gabite. Just hanging out in here. Very strange. Very strange. At least we know the layer of the Gabites. I wonder if... God dang. These guys are powerful, man. Yeah, this. I guess this dungeon is going to be way harder than I expected. It is only eight floors, though, right now. So it doesn't... Uh, uh, it doesn't make things too difficult, but... With things like sandstorms happening in the forest, there's uh, going to be some difficulty. And we have a Gabite over there who's whipping up a sandstorm, but who cares about him? Because the stairs are right there. Um, yeah, there's no need for exploration here. We'll just uh, go ahead and head through Dusk Forest because something cool is going to happen. And Oh, look, a Jump Bluff. Uh, guess who's going to get electrocuted? It's going to be you. You want to get electrocuted, Jump Bluff? Because you're, you're about to be that way. Ah, uh, you would be at least. We haven't seen anything that Grovile is capable of doing. Man, I am here. We are again. Re Go Bo! Oh my God! Wow. Uh, I here we are again, recording in the in the early morning. In the early morning for me, this is a uh, spin trap. It confuses you if you step on it. And yes, all you basically have to do is just go in any direction. Uh, the redeeming thing about this is that you can throw sticks. Always in the way you're facing, despite being confused. Uh, this is going to be rather annoying, though. Uh, wait, I'm I'm healed, so that's gah! Between getting hit in the between the wall and Gobo missing all the time, this is getting to be ridiculous. And I hate going up against Gabites. Oh man, this is this is rough. Plus, he's a dragon and ground type, so he's gonna have a lot of like. 
Come on! He's gonna have little to no effect. I cannot... I cannot get over it how many times we're just missing. Thank you! There's a lot of HP. I hate going up against Gabites. I wish we had, like, an Ice-type Pokemon for right now, because, man... If we know anything from, uh, our... Uh, Pokemon Platinum uh, LP, we know that Gabites have a, uh, take a lot of damage from Ice types being a quad weakness, quad weak to Ice. Let's just, let's just forget that Motham. Don't even, don't even give him the time of day, Grovile. Don't even look at him. My god. Alright, uh, well, alright, you, I was gonna say, why aren't you using, I forgot that he lost all of his good moves. Though I'm stuck here. Hmm. Alright, get him, Grovile. It's all you, buddy. It's all you. Get him. Do something cool. Alright, Dig is okay, I guess. He does have access to Dig, he also knows Leaf Blade, and ba-boom, nothing happened. Way to go. Uh, the move failed. It Dig works pretty much the same way as it did in uh, the other games. You just kind of dig in the ground, you gotta wait a turn or two, and then uh, you come out. Ooh, Giga Drain. Wow, some Gabite picked up Giga Drain. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, why don't we go ahead and put Thunderfang back? Because we can at least take out this Mothim with it, uh, and instead of, uh, instead of having to use Bite all the time. Um, because hopefully we won't run into a Gabite! Man, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to hang on, hang on with this, like, 8 a.m. class every, like, twice a week, because it's... I know, it sounds like I'm being a baby, but wow, it's getting tough, I'm not a morning person at all. It's starting to, it's starting to tire me out. And Nigel Grid level 30, which means, yay, he has over 100 HP! Gobo is still slacking there. <clears throat> But that's okay. We'll, uh, we make up for it with our, with our power. Something that, uh, GB never really did. And what do we got here? A Trip Trap, yes. One, oh, I have the Special Band equipped now. Uh, because, uh, apparently they just hate my bow tie all that, all, uh, just all too much. So I gave him the Special Band to up his, uh, moves like Charge and Spark. That's really our go-to move. It's a very, very good move to begin with, and the fact that it's boosted even more now. Ooh, Hunger Seed, alright. And, uh, yeah, let's head through here. Head to the 8th floor of Dusk Forest. And... We've got a sleeping guy up there. It's a moth him. We're all good. I, I never did find, like, a bite who had Giga Drain. I wonder... I don't think we're actually gonna do any damage to him, or maybe it'll just do... Yeah, it had a little effect. Bummer! Uh, uh, God. I hate... I hate going against these Gabites in here. You'll notice that there's not a large variety of Pokemon in Dusk Forest, and it does kind of suck because they're all pretty, well, aside from Mothim, they're all pretty, pretty difficult. What do we got here? Recycle, all right, could have been better. I'm used to getting these incredible, uh, awesome TMs, but I, I can handle one bad, don't fall asleep. Go, Bo! Uh, you're just gonna, you're, you guys are terrible friends. Just gonna let them beat me up. Well, at least, uh... At least Nigel's trying, but here we are. Just gotta sit and be hurt. Come on. There we go. Get out of here, Jump Bluff, and let us get to the stairs. Yay. No! Traps galore, I see. And yes, you just kind of have to wander around, hoping that your confusion heals. And ha ah, Grovile got confused, and again. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, awesome. But there we go, guys. Dusk Forest Heights. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Still doesn't look much like a forest, just kind of like a gray wasteland with, you know, the, of course, future floating rocks! Is this where Celebi is supposed to be? That's right, it was around here that I met her the last time. But if Primal Dialga knows of this place, Celebi will have fled from here. If this place isn't known to our pursuers, however, then Celebi should still be here. Well, we do have a pursuer now, but hello, Celebi? It's me, Grovile. Reveal yourself, if you're here. Well, looks like, surprise, surprise, she's not coming out. Did she get frightened off by Primal Dialga? I would be! Have you seen that dude? What if, what if she's been captured by Primal Dialga? Oh, worst case scenario, always captured. Wow, where'd that voice come from? I think everything's going to be alright for the first time ever, but now I don't hear anything. That voice, was I just hearing things? Tee, you didn't imagine it. Me, captured? How insulting. Captured? Impossible, that's for sure. Tee hee. Yes, for the first time, I think, ever, what we expected to happen was here, and if you couldn't tell, this is a shiny Celebi. Yes, a shiny Celebi is actually a character in this, and if you listen closely, that music that you're hearing is the same music uh, from when you're doing the personality quiz at the very beginning of the game to figure out which Pokemon you are. It's been too long, my dear Grovile. Yes, it has been a while, Celebi. What? This tiny thing is Celebi? What did you expect? Now that is downright rude. 
Celebi is one of my favorite characters in this game. How inappropriate to poke fun at my petite proportions. Plus the fact that it's a shiny Celebi is just so awesome. I heard you have the ability to cross time. So I expected you to be some awe-inspiring Pokemon. That is awe-inspiring! Look at how awesome she is! I love Celebi. It's one of my favorite Pokemon designs. How uncouth. Never judge someone by appearance. But I forgive you. After all, you must find me cuter and more special than you imagined. Isn't that so great? I love it. Oh, Celebi. Um, yes. <laughs> well handled, Nigel. Just, yep, I did. Celebi, I need your help again. I know. Seeing you back here, my dear Grovile, tells me everything I need to know. You're back because you failed in your mission in the past. Owned! Urk, yes, it's true. I hope you manage this time. I've had quite enough of this. Living in this dark and dreary, dreary world is so depressing. She's like, yeah, you better not mess up because I'm kind of tired of living this way. The Sableye are tracking us. If we don't leave soon, we'll have brought trouble to you. Tee <laughs> it's quite fine. There's no need to be worried. Let those Sableye come. They're no concern to me. Besides, if you would be so kind as to prevent the planet's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world of darkness. My dear Grovel, I will devote my whole life to achieve that end. All right, where's the passage of time? It's ready. It is nearby. The passage of time is on a plateau above this forest. That's good. Can you guide us? Yes! Are all three of you taking the passage of time? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I love- it. Oh, what's this? Your friend! Yeah, hey, what's going on? Uh, sorry I was eating a hamburger. I wasn't paying attention. Were you talking about time passage? I don't know. No, that can't be. Have you seen me before, Celebi? Is something the matter, Celebi? No, it's nothing. Hmm. That was strange. Well then, shall we? Off to the passage of time. I love that it's a shiny Celebi so much. But yeah, you thought it was off- Hey, Grovile. So what's the passage of time? I'll show you in a sec, I suppose. I don't want to spoil the fun. The passage of time is a portal that Celebi uses to travel through time. It's Celebi's TARDIS, essentially, like I was talking about before. It's a secret corridor that spans dimensions. For short trips, I can travel through time all by myself. But for big trips that span many generations, I must use the passage of time. Oh, so if we were to go through the passage of time, yes, you'll be able to return to your time. Oh, I see it! Yeah, it's not in front of us exactly. It is yet another mystery dungeon that we have to go through. There's an entrance that leads up to the plateau. The passage of time is way up there. Good. We'll leave as soon as we're ready. So, uh, as Grovile did, if you would like to go ahead and use storage, you can. I'm going to store some things. Um... We can... Ah, the transfer orb's kind of sweet. Uh, we can get rid of the switcher orb, stun seed... I don't want anything that causes hunger. As, uh, great as that might seem. Uh, and we'll put the stamina band in there. It's pretty useful. Ooh, I also want to put that scope lens in there as well. So, uh, I think we're all good so far. So why don't we, in the last few minutes of this, get started at least at the next dungeon. So, what is Grovile up to? Up to? We can return to the pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say something about storing your items in that Kangaskhan bank. I like that they exist in the future. Hi, hi. So, listen. This is just a little secret. Did you know that Grovile is really impatient and hasty? I know that he wants to hurry, but I do wish he would slow down a little. It would sure make me happier if he did. I want to spend as much time as I can with him. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's that's not how I meant it. Not at all. I don't have any special feelings for him or anything. Whoa, a little romance here between Celebi and Grovile. Oh, weird. I bet I could have, I could tell a little bit calling him my dear Grovile. Look what you grow up to be, Nigel. You get to have the attention of a very awesome shiny Celebi. Just kidding. You're not cool enough. Anyway, nah, not to be mean. I'm sure he will be just fine. We're leaving. Let's make our way to the passage of time. Let's go. Indeed, Deep Dusk Forest, Celebi is on our team! To add to how awesome Grovile is, yes, we have Ce we have Celebi, that was- That was lame, Nige, that was lame. Uh, look, but the damage there was out of this world. Uh, yeah, we got Celebi with us, and it it's really freaking cool. I wanted to at least start this dungeon here at the end. Uh, here, somebody who's grass, get them! Everybody here is a grass type except for me, so e somebody use a grass type move. Somebody use a grass type move. Yes, even Celebi is a grass and psychic type. Really cool combination. Plus, plus it's a, uh, dang, plus it is a, uh, shiny, I just love that. It's a shiny Celebi, it's just with us, and it's really cool looking. 
and that would have been really annoying because that was a spinny one. But yes, this is what it's like having four pe We've had four people, haven't we? I think- I would imagine that we have. That Rhydon is chasing- God! This is all we have are like Agrons and crap? This is all we got all the time? Is this what I have to deal with? I'm sure- this is gonna- this is, ain't going to do jack to him, bro. Mm. Ow. It's probably gonna- well, it did- he only had- he had less than 85, and yeah, there's Grovile down there using Leaf Blade, doing 334 damage on these Pokémon. Um, we're lucky that a lot of these forest Pokemon, for some reason, are weak to grass-type moves. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but, you know, this is the future, and I wouldn't expect it to. Hey, guys, I'm on par with you, because I just did about 300 damage. I guess that makes me better than Nige. But we all saw that coming, didn't we? Ah, I need to stop giving the guy such a hard time. But yeah, here's something pretty cool. Actually, Leafeon is in this dungeon. Leafeon is the grass evolution of, uh of uh eevee which is that's pretty cool i don't know if celebi has actually done any damage to anybody but i'd love to see what celebi's capable of doing um man that's just so awesome i love celebi oh it's great celebi's such a whoa steelix was following us celebi's such a cool pokemon i just love it a lot go get him celebi do something cool magical leaf very fitting move for celebi and whoa grow go go grew to level 31 and did we get any did our HP exceed? Oh, now we gotta level up one more time. We're so close, so close. And did you? That stick hit him for more than it does most people I go up against. That's that's really funny, especially considering that he's a big old scary Steelix. No one cares to fight. Le Levion's just like in disguise, part of our part. Oh, Celebi, don't deal with that. Don't you even don't you even bother with that crap. All right, don't worry about it, girl. Never mind. Oh, that didn't do a lot. I expected it to do a little more. And there we go. It's unfortunate the Celebi has to go up against the Leafeon. Well, all you guys, all you grass weirdos have to go up against the Leafeon. I'm the only one who can deal with this, and I'm an electric type, so I don't even do that much to it. But I missed! Well, that was an incredibly pointless turn. I would like to get to the next, uh, the next dungeon beforehand. Um, oh, hold on one second, guys. All right, sorry about that. Right at the end, we had a startup disc problem being full. But anyway, going to end off the episode as I get in here. But yeah, guys, going to end off here. Next time, we're going to finish up the Deep Dusk Forest. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day. And I will see you guys next time.